illegal. All right, that's what the police report says. I'll be charged with a gun. Mm -hmm. So your eight-year-old that you're so concerned about now, but you were not concerned about when you were riding around in the vehicle, where's your eight-year-old? She's at home right now. She's with like who? Safe and sound. With who? With my wife. She, she, she's good. Now, what does that mean, she good? So here's the thing. You're in a court of law, yes, so don't do the slang with me yes, because... It's, it will not register with me and it will not register with me purposely on my part. Yes, ma'am. So, your eight year old daughter is with, you say your wife? Yes, ma'am. So, you all are legally married? No. So, that's not your wife. So, let's start there. Caskell. He's in charge. Um, okay. Hello. Jobs for the shorts. I apologize. All right. So you know that's not appropriate attire. I have nothing else. I apologize. Okay. I haven't been in the court so long. I don't keep forgetting. All right. Winter does happen. Winter is coming. So you got to make sure you at least have one pair of pants. And for court, this is the thing. And I would always tell my client this all the time. You don't have to wear a suit and tie. If you have one, great. I would always try to make sure my clients had a suit and tie, but it's not 100% necessary, but you do need to have long pants. All right. All right, so today's plea deadline date. Yes, Judge, we've reached a plea agreement. We just now got the paperwork. All we, right. We were gonna ask if we could um, recall it tomorrow for the plea. Yeah. We can do it this afternoon. In shorts? Yes. Okay. All right, I'll see y'all back here at 1.30. Okay. All right, everyone, the court is going to be in recess. We'll be back at 1.30. And what is your client's name? McCaskill? McCaskill. Uh, probation, are you ready? Court is calling 2024-CR-4372, State of Texas versus Brandon James McCaskill. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Andrew Harris, Aiden. Defense? Elizabeth Settle. And are you Mr. McCaskill? Yes, ma'am. Counselor, have you received all the discovery? Did you review it with your client? I have, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Is there an application in this case? Yes, for probation, for community supervision. All right. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Did you review the document entitled Application for Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you review the document entitled True Bill of Indictment with your attorney? Did you understand it? Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? I do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Did you review the document entitled Court Admonishments with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am, I did. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of unauthorized use of a vehicle? That's a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? If you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Did you understand by entering this plea, you were giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, sir. Mr. McCaskill, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, ma'am. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Did you review the plea bargain page with your attorney? Did you understand it? According to the plea, punishments be assessed at two years in the state jail facility. State recommends community supervision. There has to be restitution, if any, to Miles Brown. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense? Yes, is that the plea? Yes, ma'am. State? Is that the plea? Yes, ma'am. Did you review the waiver of appeal paragraph with your attorney? Did
Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have there been any such uh, motions? No, Your Honor. Outside the agreement, the state is recommending that your community supervision be for a term of three years. There be a top evaluation, 150 hours of community service restitution, no contact with Miles Brown, and the anti-theft course. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, then to the offenses charge, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Content. State, any evidence? Same with an exhibit one and attachments, Your Honor. Any objection? No objection. You may, con you may be excused. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, did you review the document entitled Waiver and Consent to Stipulation of Testimony and Stipulations with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes. Did you understand that today the state would be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty, and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Judge. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Judge, just that uh, we would ask that you follow the plea agreement. Um, my client has a, an eight-year-old daughter and a wife that he supports. He works as a car detailer. So, um, we would just ask that you follow the agreement. Okay. What's your street name? That's not what you said in the police report. You said P1 stated that he didn't know Wood's real name and stated that some, I don't know why people are still using the N-word, don't want their name to be known. You feel me? And I respect it. I go by a street name and he go by a street name. That's what we do. So what's your street name? I don't know about street names. I don't know why I was in report. All right. And what's the 100 on your hand about? 100. No, what does that mean, you're 100? It's just authentic, you know? It's old. It's just old. It's what? It's old. It's old. It really has no significant meaning. So why would you tattoo 100 on your hand and it has no significant meaning? I mean, it does, but it's it's not... It's just me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and what's the lettering on the side of your face? Uh, some words. Hmm? Some words. Yeah, what are the words? Against all odds. All right, and what's the tattoo in the center of your forehead about? It's a broken heart. All right, and what's the other one? Blessed. And what's the neck tattoo about? It's just some emotions. Mm -hmm. And what's on the other hand? It's just a ball. It ain't nothing. And what's the the initials on your hand? My my partner that got killed. It's just in memory of my partner that got killed. Mm -hmm. So how did he get killed? Gun violence. Mm -hmm. And why are you riding around with a, a gun in the vehicle? Yeah. All right, that's what the police report says. I'll be charged with a gun. Mm -hmm. So. Your eight-year-old that you're so concerned about now, but you were not concerned about when you were riding around in the vehicle. Where's your eight-year-old? She's at home right now. She's With who? Safe and sound. With who? With my wife. She she she's good. Now, what does that mean? She good. So here's the thing: you're in a court of law. Yes, so don't do the slang with me yes, because. It's it will not register with me, and it will not register with me purposely on my part. Yes, ma'am. So. Your eight-year-old daughter is with, you say your wife? Yes. So you all are legally married? No. So that's not your wife. So let's start there. You're not legally married, so that's not your wife. That's the mother of your child. Yes, you, for some reason, felt she was not worthy to be blessed with a marriage with you. Because did you ask her to marry you? Uh -huh. That would be a no. So don't be coming into court using your wife, who is not your wife, and your daughter 
to play on sympathy of the court. Right. Most so definitely. that's not, let's start with, that's not your wife. That's the mother of your child. And does she have employment? Yes, ma'am. All right. And she's always had employment. Yes, ma'am. And you have not always had employment. Yeah, I have. No. Yes, ma'am, I have. And so you're saying you're supporting your wife and your daughter on a salary of detailing cars? Sale cars and detail cars. Oh, but not this one, because this one was stolen. So where where do you sell and detail even, cars? It wasn't my vehicle. I was detailing the vehicle, and I got in the situation I'm in now. All right. What I can Still tell you vehicle. is... Nowhere in this police report, many things were said, but nowhere in this police report do you say that you were detailing that vehicle. You said that Woods loaned that vehicle to you. No, I said I was detailing the vehicle for him. I don't know why they didn't put it in a police report, mm -hmm. but we always have them type of technicalities. So you did you detailing a vehicle for a, uh, a guy, according to you, yes, that you met at the Bear County Jail? Yeah. Okay. So where is your shop? It's like if I met you and, and, and uh, you will not, let me just tell you, you will not be meeting me at the Bear County Jail unless you're a client and I'm an attorney or unless I'm going to the Bear County Jail to speak to inmates for whatever reason. So where's your detail shop? I don't have one. I just, I'm, I'm starting this from the ground up. I'm mm over. -hmm. I'm over. Yeah. I'm a mobile detail. Oh yeah? Yes, ma'am. So... What's the equipments you use to detail since you're mobile, uh, which means you have to take equipment from one place to the other place? Are you just going to somebody's home and using their water and their soap and saying you're a detailer? Um, well, unless like I go to a car wash and I do my thing there, you know, I vacuum the car out, uh, tire signs, shit like stuff like that. Um, excuse my cussing. Um, yeah, I'm over detailing them. I That's got, not detailing. I do that to my own vehicle. I vacuum it out. Use purple power, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. You know? Yes. That's, that's detail, something. That yeah, that's something product. you can buy from any uh, store. Tough stuff. You, yeah. All right. I mean, we got to start somewhere, right? Sure. And let's hope it's not at the Bear County Jail meeting people that we don't know their names because we don't do that. We just have street names. Stephanie, Laura, I don't have a street name. When people see me, they call me Stephanie Boyd. Her name is Judge. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, that should be my street name, Judge. All right, this is what the court is going to do. Court is finding you guilty. Court is going to sentence you to two years in the state jail facility, suspended and probated for three years. There's going to be a TAP evaluation. Follow those recommendations. If you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? Probably be negative, you know, but I'm not, I'm not. When you say you'll probably be negative, why do you think it's just properly? I mean, it's been a little minute before I, since I smoked, but. Smoked what? Marijuana, you know. All right, you're not allowed to smoke marijuana on probation or drink alcohol. Yes, ma'am, I know that. I know that. I know that. You won't have no type of issues like that with me at all. Period. There's gonna be 120 hours community service restitution. I'm gonna order parenting classes. There's gonna be proof of employment. Yes, ma'am. Within 30 days. Okay. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors until further notice. I'm going to want field visits one time per month until further notice. There's to be no contact and restitution to Miles Brown. Uh, cats one and two. Cats one and two is a class that's going to tell you what you should already know, which is don't steal. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. The MRT course. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person and regular random UAs. Uh, probation, is there anything else he needs? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? 
Did you review the document entitled trial court certification of defendants rights to appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? All right, we can go off the record. So you have a daughter, correct? This is what you need to ask yourself because children are supposed to be proud of their parents, right? She is proud of me though. Yeah, she doesn't know what you're up to. So this is what I'm gonna say to you. You need to look at yourself honestly in the mirror and ask yourself, would you want with the baggage you have right now and where you are in your life, if your daughter were of age, would you want her to bring you home to meet her parents? Yeah, I know the answer is no. So if the answer is no, you know what that means? You're, she is not proud of you right now. You are presenting a picture of yourself to her that is not true. I don't know anybody who would be proud. Oh yeah, my father is taking some car from some guy named Wood. Oh, my father is smoking marijuana. Oh, my father is tattooing his body up with things that mean nothing, like the hundred. I'm fine. Here's so. the thing. I'm fine with people having tattoos. That's fine. People can have tattoos. But if you're going to have tattoos, at least let it have some meaning. You understand? And until you can say, you will be so happy that your daughter will bring a guy like you on paper home to meet her family, until you can honestly say that. I'm a good guy. No, you're not. You commit you, you so you're telling this court that you would be happy and proud of your daughter to bring somebody home who has felony charges. I mean, stuff, all right, stuff, there's stuff, stuff happens. It, it happens. No, it doesn't. It all right, there's no help for you, but here's the thing: you cannot have unsupervised contact with the minors. So you know what that means? That means for your child to have contact with you, somebody else needs to be present, an adult who is thinking and looking out for her, because you're not. I just got caught in the wrong position, you know. No, you didn't. I didn't do nothing wrong, man. You know what? Turn and look at your attorney. Ask her how many times she's been caught driving a car illegally. You know what? Ask the deputies. Deputy Laura, how many times have you been charged with unauthorized use of a vehicle? Uh, Vashon? Do, do you have in your past an unauthorized use of a vehicle that you've done probation for? Uh, Zach, have you been at the Bear County Jail staying there because you've been arrested for an offense? If I say yes, will you please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's no. Your attorney hasn't been at the Bear County Jail. And you're, you're telling me with a straight face, jokingly, because you're the jokester from high school, there is always one, you're telling me with a straight face that you would be proud of your daughter to bring you home. And you know what that's saying? The people in that box? No, no, no. You see the people over in that box? Some of them have unauthorized use of the vehicle. So what you're telling me is if any one of those guys, if your daughter were an adult, you would be proud for her to bring any one of them home. Yeah, that'll be a no. Thank you very much. Change your life. Yes, ma'am. Darren Johnson? Probation is going to go over conditions with you.